Hello, uh, we are back this time with another video and uh, um, today we'll be learning about uh, the uh, uh, keyword view. Um, all this time when we open uh, our QTP, we have been looking into what is called the expert view and uh, today we, we kind of like uh, try and make some sense uh, out of uh, the other view as well. So I'm going to take you to one of the simplest examples here is uh, I guess uh, we could go to this eBay one. Um, the only reason is that it has got uh, less number of lines of code here. Okay, now when it opens up, um, you when you look at it, you already know what it is uh, because uh, we have seen this uh, quite many times so far. Uh, system util dot run opens uh, this Internet Explorer, takes you to eBay.com. We wait for three seconds and then um, we go uh, to uh, we ask the browser and on this page and then we go to web edit and then that's the name the logical name which it has given and uh, the set is a method and then basically we are setting this text into that now that and then as we continue we have the other instructions in here all right now at any given time if you have some confusion about like uh, let's say what what this is about like wait 10 right so you can you can be here right and uh, let's take a look into the uh, keyword view and see what it is. Now, notice my cursor is right here on wait 10. And when I go into keyword view, um, and if I if I take a look into here, uh, basically what I have here is it is trying to explain you everything about what's going on in here. There's something called a system util, function call, and then this eBay electronics, and then this is this is like a, a side word uh, triangle. So if I expand that. Uh, if there's anything inside this, if there's anything inside it, then you would see that uh, sideward triangle. And if there's anything inside it, then again, you're going to see that, right? Okay, so we got tons of things going on here. Now, let's take a look into what is happening in here. Now, number one, th this this view, this uh, keyword view has got like four um, columns, right? Uh, there is something called item, there's something operation, value, and documentation. All right. Okay. Now, this item is there are depending on what is what what we are doing in here, right? If we have uh, written any VB script, uh, uh, each one is considered like an item. So here I am on line number thirteen, and if I go back in here, now notice that it highlights that, right? Um, if I go back here, uh, that means that I'm here. If I go if I go here, this wait ten, and if I go back into that, it is. It is highlighting. It is highlighting with all this dark blue uh, my item in action one. So this is action one, and each line of code which we have written here is considered like an item, right? So it wherever I am here, if I need to make a little sense out of it, uh, like what this wait ten means, I could I could be there and then click on the keyword view, and then I this will be highlighted, and then this is talking to me. It is telling me that if you go into the documentation, documentation tells and and kind of like explains me that uh, okay, what this command is all about. It is saying that hey, it's a function called wait wait is a function in VB script and that's what it is saying that uh, what you're doing there it is you're calling a function and in the the function is wait and the value which the value uh, is is what you're passing to it so you you and what is this 10 it is saying that wait 10 seconds before the next step right so that's the meaning of this so the documentation column basically tries to explain us what is happening on that line of code now let's say for instance if i if i if i go here this nkw and all that right if i go here now let's take a look what is happening here this documentation again tells us that this is what is happening it is saying that uh, enter yankee titles uh, or tickets rather in the underscore nkw edit box all right so okay now this line of code if you see it is explaining that um, you got to enter Yankee tickets in the underscore NKW edit box. Okay, if I go into the expert view, it should it should highlight over here. And that's exactly what we were doing here. Yankee tickets, we were setting is like entering into this web edit, right? NKW web edit, right? Okay, now uh, let's take a look into this one, right? What is system util dot run? So if I go back into keyword, it will tell me that hey, system util right uh is nothing but you are saying that open the i explore exe application right i explore is internet explorer and then it is saying that uh, go to ebay.com right so run is run is the operation operation is nothing but what you do on 
on that item what you do on that item say for instance this here click you click on that on that item this and if you need to know what is the search and all about it is telling that click the search button so it knows that that's a button and then it is looking into this operation and it's trying to convert that into english right so uh la, wait for right uh wait for wait for seconds right before the next step now uh set is like enter right this yankee tickets in the in the nkw edit box so it knows that nkw is an edit box so at any given time if you're really not sure about what what it is this try this keyword view tries to give you some help right now uh, i would strongly strongly suggest that you know you, you, there's no need for you to come and then look into here unless and until um you know you you cannot do things in here because this this is more or less like you know use this uh, only in the cases when uh, uh, you cannot do things uh, let's say here expert view or it is it is cumbersome it is difficult or it is too tedious to do things in here then keyword view kind of like makes it a little easy for you to do things in here um in uh, my next video i'm going to be explaining you things uh, about uh, what we will be doing with keyword view uh, in reference to uh, let's say um parameterization of data uh, what was that? <laughs> parameterization of data. Uh, what the heck is that? What is parameterization of data? Okay, uh, very quickly. Uh, see here, Yankee tickets. Now, in this, in this test, in this, in this test, right, in eBay one, in this action, I am running Yankee tickets. Now, next time, if I want to run, let's say, uh, Mets tickets, or um, uh, if it is not baseball, if it is like basketball, let's say uh, Lakers ticket or Chicago Bulls tickets um, or uh, Orlando Magic tickets, right? I mean, some different set of data. Now, for that, uh, I don't have to keep typing that data here. So that data could come from uh, some other place. Right. So what I'm going to do is in my next video, I'm going to be showing you we'll have like, you know, five or ten different combinations here. Right. And then um, we will see as how to bring in all those different things uh, um, by using keyword view. Right. I'm going to be using keyword view and something called a data table data table and using the data table and the keyword view. I would be passing different sets of data right to this to this line. Right. And that's what we'll be taking a look into the uh, next video. Um, so oh, I had to introduce you to what is called keyword view. And that's what I did in here in this video. So um, not that keyword view is is uh, used, um, you know, um, very frequently. But, uh, you know, at times, you, you know, you might want to just go there and then take a look into it. So that's why I introduce you into keyword view. All right. Um, so we'll wait for the next video where I'm going to be showing you parameterization of data, parameterization of data. That is passing different sets of data to whatever line of code you need to pass in this in this little example here in this like four or five lines of code. Uh, that seems to be like a logical uh, place for me to have different sets of data. And that's what I'll be doing in my next video. All right. Uh, see you soon in my next video.